Honda is a bit of a controversial brand among enthusiasts. Some love it, some hate it, but I'm not going to discuss all that in today's video. Instead, I'm going to be talking about one of Honda's main draws, that being VTEC. Now, I'm sure that many of you have heard of VTEC, but for those who haven't, here's a quick introduction. In an engine, you have these things called camshafts, which sit inside the cylinder head. Camshafts have cams placed along them, which open up the valves which allow air and fuel into the engine as well as allow exhaust to pass out of the engine. The shape of the cams determines how long each valve stays open, so if you wanted to make more power, you'd want cams that allow the intake valves to stay open for longer, so more air and fuel can make it into the cylinder. Classic muscle cars have the characteristic rumbly, choppy idle because their cams are optimized for high-end power, which means they don't run very smoothly at idle. In VTEC, which stands for Variable Valve Timing and Lift Electronic Control, Two different cam profiles or shapes exist on the same camshaft. Traditionally, in VTEC engines, one set of cams pushes the outer rocker arms at low RPM, which lifts the valves. Because these low RPM cams are smaller, they don't lift the valves too much, which means you're going to have less air and fuel in each cylinder, which results in a more economical burn. But at higher RPM, oil pressure moves a rod over which locks the central rocker arm together with the other ones. As you can see, where previously this third, more aggressive cam was just pushing that middle rocker arm without doing anything, now it is doing all the work while the other two cams are too short to do anything. This means that the valves are opening more and for longer which allows more air and fuel to be used. This allows the engine to make more power. It's a pretty cool system that Honda uses in most of its performance engines to increase both efficiency and power. Now, you might be wondering, how do I use VTEC? Well really it's quite simple. You just put the pedal to the floor, wait till you get to about 5000 RPM, and you should feel a bump in how quickly the car revs and how much you're accelerating. Once you hit this point, VTEC has kicked in. Now, those of you who are more familiar with Honda may be asking, what's the difference between traditional VTEC and IVTEC, or intelligent valve timing and lift electronic control? IVTEC is a system that combines normal VTEC with a separate system known as VTC, or variable timing control. VTC is a system that is used on the intake cams, which allows the intake camshaft to be continuously variable. This system is a fair bit more complex than VTEC, but what you need to know is that it allows the engine to tweak the intake camshaft and make it even more efficient than just VTEC, depending on the rev range. So IVTEC just combines both of these systems to make VTEC even more efficient. IVTEC is used in engines such as the K20 and is one of the reasons why it's able to be so powerful and yet efficient and reliable. Traditional VTEC is used in engines such as the B series, an older but almost equally fantastic Honda engine. So hopefully now you can understand a little more about VTEC and IVTEC, and how Honda uses these systems to create some of the greatest 4 cylinder engines of all time. If you want to know more about VTEC, I've provided some links in the description. Hope you all enjoyed this!